If you've ever needed to take your presentations in Zoom or another conferencing platform to the next level, using OBS is the answer. It's as simple as the virtual camera from OBS, but the audio doesn't come over with the virtual camera and that's always been the problem. I have a super simple solution to that as well and it's all free. So you know what? Let's get to it! Now the software to do everything I talk about today is listed in the description so you can download it and follow along. That is the best way to learn. Here's how to set everything up. So what is the virtual camera? Well it's very simple. It's this little button right here that allows you to export your entire presentation to any broadcast. So you could set up all kinds of really cool slides like this or anything that you want to sell products or deliver some sort of presentation. And all of these assets right here are created 100% in OBS and you can add all kinds of really awesome features that make it a great way to broadcast something. And it's as simple as just clicking on the virtual camera. So you can export everything that you see here into Zoom or Discord or whatever communication software that you want. Now the one downside is generally that it doesn't support audio. So if I click the virtual camera right now, we could export our camera to any other application, but you wouldn't get the sound. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem today. We're gonna show you exactly how you can send all of this broadcast to Discord or Zoom or wherever else you want. So first we have to add something called a virtual cable to our computer, and that's going to take all the audio from OBS and add it into an audio source that you can use for pretty much any application. It's very simple. Let me show you how it works. This is the page that we're going to go to to find it. The links are in the description down below, of course. And we're just gonna click the download for the appropriate platform we're using. In my case, it's going to be Windows. And it's just gonna go ahead and download up here. And all I have to do now is go into our download section and I can right click and unpack this. So we're gonna go extract all and extract and we could go in here. So we're gonna double click for our system. We're using a 64, so we're gonna do this VB cable setup 64 and we're going to install the driver right here. And if you run into that problem, all you have to do is go ahead and right click on it and we're gonna do run as administrator, then click yes and then install driver and it says ins installation complete and successful. And that's all there is to it. Now, if we go down here into our audio, we're gonna see that we have our cable input in here, this cable input VB audio cable. And that is what we're going to use to get our audio from OBS and into other applications. So let me show you how you set this up. Now, there are two different types of audio sources that you get in OBS. And one is the output. The output is what is going to go out to the live stream which is what the software is made for. And that output, you really can't tap into as easily as we would want to. So we're gonna use a workaround to send some of the output, and that's the best part about this. You can select which outputs you wanna send. We're gonna send some of that output to the monitoring device, which normally would be the headphones you're listening to. It gives you the ability to select the things that you wanna hear and not hear. In this case, we're gonna just use that monitoring device and send that to our virtual cable. So that gives us the ability to select all of the audio that we wanna export without audio that we don't wanna export. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna go into settings right here and we're gonna go into our audio setup and right here under advanced, you see monitoring device. And we can drop this down and select any monitoring device we want. Normally, this would probably be the headphones, but in our case, it is actually going to be our cable input right here. So we're going to select the cable input, and that is where our audio is going to go for our monitoring device. So we can click apply and OK on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to drop this down and we're going to select advanced audio properties. And here we can see all of the audio we have, which in this case right now is just my camera. So we can go right over here 
and you can see monitoring is off so we're just sending audio out to the broadcast well we're going to go and select monitor and output which means it's going to send audio out to the output which could be a recording or a live stream or whatever but also to the monitor which would normally be our headphones but now is going to be that virtual audio cable and we can click close and some scenes are going to have more audio than others in this case i have a video on this scene that has audio so if we go in here and we go to advanced audio properties we can see that our media source audio is not going to be monitored which means that it wouldn't go to our presentation software if we want it to be monitored we're going to go and switch that to monitor and output but the beautiful thing is we can select if we didn't want the audio from that video to go into our presentation well we don't have to have it go into our presentation if you have sound effects or music or anything else that you're going to play during your presentation you can select which one of those outputs you want to go just to the regular output and which ones you want to be monitored so they go over to your zoom broadcast or whatever you're broadcasting to so it's an absolutely awesome way to guarantee that your audience is only going to hear the audio that you want them to hear and so now we're all set up to go ahead and send this to zoom or whatever we want so i'm going to show you how to send it to zoom and i'll show you how to send it to discord as well any other video conferencing software is going to work exactly the same way now it doesn't matter whether we're going to join an existing meeting or we're going to start our own so we're going to go ahead and start a new meeting it's very simple and we want to join with our computer audio for now and we're going to set this up so all we have to do is go ahead and click on that and now we've got to go down here and set up our camera so we're going to click this up button and we're going to select the camera that we want which in this case is going to be our obs camera but we haven't actually turned it on yet so we've got to do that let's go back over here and all we have to do is click start virtual camera so now you can see it's grayed out. Our virtual camera is started. We can go back over here into Zoom. And when we click up on here now, we should have our virtual camera right here, OBS virtual camera. And boom. Now it's backwards. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly how we could fix that problem. But for now, we have it in here. Now we need to get our audio in here. We're gonna click this up button. And you know, all we have to do is select our cable output right here. And boom. So now you can see the audio coming in right there. It's showing you. So that's all the audio that we have coming in from our OBS. But, well, this isn't going to work. Now the easiest way to fix the fact that this is all jumbled around and difficult is to go into your video here and go to video settings and you're going to see right here you've got mirror my video you just uncheck that and bada bing we are now broadcasting the same exact presentation but it looks right and so we've got our zoom presentation right here I'm gonna bring it over there like that and we're going to select this one so that you could see that when I move from slide to slide it moves from slide to slide and you get exactly what you're expecting so that you can deliver an awesome broadcast in your presentation software. Let me show you quickly how you can add this in Discord as well. So we could just turn on our camera right here and we can select which camera we want by dropping this down and selecting our OBS virtual camera. And there we go. Now you can see this has the same problem because it flips our camera. We can go here and select our audio device by going cable virtual audio cable and there we go so now we're getting both of our audio and our video and so we want to change so we can go to voice and video and we've got our obs virtual camera set up in here we can adjust the backgrounds and all that sort of stuff and you can see that it doesn't make it easy for us because there is no mirror mode that we can select in here it kind of sucks it is what it is but this is easy to fix in obs now we could select any one of the items in here and we can adjust the way that they look so all of our text we can right click and go to transform and we can flip them horizontal and so what we could do 
is select all of our text together right click go into transform and flip horizontal and there we go and we missed our headline right click and transform and flip horizontal and we can do this with our camera as well i can right click on here and go into transform and flip horizontal then i just have to reposition my camera and you might also have to move things around to make them make sense so it's not out of the realm of possibility to fix all of these things it's really pretty simple So you can see when you take a couple seconds and flip everything around in Discord, it works exactly the same as well. It doesn't take that long. It took me literally five minutes to just flip flop everything around by flipping it to horizontal and everything works. T-shirt reads right. All of the text over here reads right. It looks great. We can even switch scenes and you will see that everything is going to look exactly how it's supposed to look so it's a little more work if your presentation software doesn't have the mirror function but this is definitely the best way to create a presentation that's going to be eye-popping and simple for your audience to sell your products or to talk about a tutorial or even just to communicate with your students if you are teaching now if you want a live streamer maybe you've never used obs before and you don't know how to do all the cool things all that easily well that's no problem. You can find hundreds of videos on this channel from beginner to advanced to teach you how to do anything that you might want to know in OBS. Here's an OBS basics video to get you started. Now, if you ever have any question about any of the content that you see on here, or maybe there's a piece of the process that you just don't understand, you can always join me on my live stream every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.